When my boyfriend and I are doing the dirty on his bed, I notice there's a little lens pointing straight at us. He goes to grab it and we realize it's a little camera. The whole time we've been doing stuff on his bed, it's been recording us. That's when my boyfriend Dan said that it must have been his crazy ex. Let's call her Casey. He had told me that she was really crazy, but I didn't think she was that crazy. Dan starts looking throughout his whole apartment and he finds two more little cameras. One in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. As you can imagine, we didn't sleep that entire night. Of course we went to the police and they opened an investigation, but they said they couldn't find anything. A week later, I get a DM from Casey, his ex-girlfriend. She starts abusing me through DM, calling me a bunch of names. She even said that I stole Dan from her, but I hadn't even met Dan when they broke up. Then she sends me a picture of my house, which means she knows where I live. I go straight to my boyfriend's apartment and when I open the door, guess who's there? Casey is sitting on the couch with my boyfriend. It gets scarier. Part my boyfriend lunges at the girl that I just caught him cheating on me with. He starts pulling her hair and pushes her to the ground. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. Try to get him to stop and I pulled his arm. Then he turns around and starts chasing me. I run back into the bar and two guys stop him. I called the cops right away and they came and arrested him. Later on that day, he asked me to bail him out and I said no. Everybody knows what he did. The other girl is trying to press charges and my dad wants me to get a restraining order. But I'm still in love with him and I don't want to get him in any more trouble. I even want to take him back, but I know I shouldn't, right? Story time about how I caught my boyfriend cheating on me and I got him arrested. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. My boyfriend and I have only been together for two months. I'm gonna call him Rex. We live in a pretty small town and everybody knows that Rex is a player. He asked me out and I said yes because I always had a crush on him. After a few dates, he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said yes under the condition that he was totally monogamous. And he said, of course. A few weeks into the relationship, I noticed that he was always hiding his phone from me. And whenever he would put his phone on a table, he would flip the screen side down. Of course, this had me on high alert. One night we went out with friends and I made sure that he got super drunk. I took advantage and went through all of his Instagram DMs. And of course he had been talking to about 30 girls. And I knew some of these girls and they knew that we were together. He had even set up a date with one of the girls for the following day at a bar. And you better believe that I was going to catch him red-handed. I show up to the bar and I don't see them. I go back to the parking lot and there he is in his car making out with this girl. I knock on the window. Part 2 is up. Okay, how short do you want your nails? Uh, shorter. A mm, little more. A little more. Um, a bit more. Can you go further down? More. I am touching your finger now. A little more. Oh my god. Story time when I was in kindergarten after lunch we always had nap times and after them we always had to do work. My lazy ass never wanted to do work so I came up with the idea of pretending like I was sleeping after everyone woke up. The teachers always let the kids sleep in so it worked out perfectly. So then nap time came and put my plan into action. After everyone woke up I remained on the floor pretending I was sleeping. After about two hours of pretending I was sleeping I actually fell asleep. The next thing I knew was when I woke up I was in the hospital. I didn't know what happened. I sat up and my mom was sitting by my bed. When she saw me awake she started crying and called for a doctor. Apparently what happened was one of the kids probably the freckled bitch in my class leaned back on her chair and fell backwards and fell with a metal chair on my head and I didn't wake up so they called 911. And that bitch put me in a coma. I was in a coma for two weeks. Part 2 about the girl that my dad was having an affair with. So like I said, a few weeks later, on a Friday, he takes me out for pizza again. Mind you, we go to the same pizza place every single Friday. Well, we sit down, we're waiting for our pizza, and I notice that there's this girl who keeps staring at me. And I'm like brushing it off, thinking that she's just one of those girls who has an RBF. Resting bitch face. So once we were done eating, my dad went to pay. But the pizza place that we were at, they only accepted cash and not card. My dad had to go to the bank, which was like two doors down, so it really didn't matter. As soon as he got up and walked out that door, the girl who was staring at me the whole time came straight over and sat down where he was sitting. I'm like, hi. And she just starts going off on me. But not so everybody could hear. She's like, what the fuck is your name? Like, is he cheating on me? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I'm his daughter. She says, no, you're not. He's shown me pictures of his daughters before. Like I said before, I wasn't in any family photos. Like for part three. Crazy story time about the girl that my dad was having an affair with. So a little background information. My mom and my dad had been married for 10 years. And they had three children. Me, who's the oldest, I'm 16. And then my two younger sisters. Well, since I was 12 years old, I've lived with my grandma. Because of some personal issues that went on at home. Well, because I live with my grandma, I barely ever saw my family because she lived like an hour away. So I was never in any family photos or anything like that. Well, when I was 15, my dad started coming to my grandma's every Friday and taking me out for pizza. 
and I thought it was because he just wanted to spend time with me. Well, a few months after he started taking me out for pizza every Friday, I found it really odd that he was getting a hotel for the whole weekend and only seeing me on Fridays. So I had talked to my grandma about it. So my grandma told me that he was having an affair. And she said that she didn't care because she absolutely despised my mom. I didn't tell my dad that I knew because I just thought that it would cause issues between us. Well, the next Friday he came up and we went to the pizza place like for part two. My boyfriend is in his car making out with another girl. I caught them red-handed. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. My boyfriend Rex quickly puts on his shirt and the other girl puts on her shirt too. I try to open the door, but it's locked. And to my surprise, my boyfriend gets mad at me and asks me what I'm doing there. So of course I say to him, what are you doing here? That's when he finally gets out of the car and he tells the other girl to stay in the car. I told him that he had promised to be monogamous. That's when he said that I was crazy and that he had never promised that and that he had no intention to be serious with me. Then he said that I made that entire conversation up in my head. And then he told me to leave. I I was so shocked, I couldn't believe what he had just said to me. The girl gets out of the car and she actually apologizes to me. And she told me that Rex had told her that he was single. Then Rex lunges at her, starts pulling her hair and pushes her to the ground. Part three is up. Part three about the crazy ass girl that my dad was having an affair with. So like I said, she comes over, she sits down. She thinks she's confronting me about being just some random girl that my dad's cheating on her with. And then like I had said earlier, I was not in any family photos because I had lived with my grandma for years. So she was like, oh, like, no, he showed me pictures of his kids and stuff like that. So because she thought that I was lying, she went up and tried to fight me. But I grabbed this bitch by her hair and I fucking dragged her. And of course, while I'm beating the shit out of her, my dad walks in. It's like, oh my God, what are you doing to her? Let her go, blah, blah, blah. Everybody else is freaking out at this point. We get kicked out. The cops get called. She goes to jail because originally she put her hands on me and I decided to press charges. Even though my dad begged me not to. So then I confronted him about the fact that he only came up once a week to spend one Friday with me, but he got a hotel and spent the whole weekend with her. So now I still live with my grandma. I don't see my dad anymore. He's still having an affair with this girl. I'm still really pissed off about it. So I kind of just want to tell my mom what he's doing. Girls, tell me about a time where your quick thinking probably saved your life. I'll go first. Two years ago, I was walking my dog at the park and a man approached me and asked to take a picture of her. And I said, yes, because why not? It's a picture of a dog. So he starts taking a picture of my dog, and then I realized that he was like holding up her collar, and then it hit me. My address is on that collar. He's not taking a picture of my dog. He's taking a picture of my address. So I told him that I actually didn't feel comfortable with him having, having a picture of my dog, and I asked him to delete it. So he deletes it, and then like starts walking away really fast. And I was like, excuse me, sir. No, could you also go into your deleted album and delete it from there? And he goes, I don't have a deleted album. And I was like, mm, you have an iPhone. Everybody has a deleted album. Could you please delete the picture? And he was like, sorry, I don't have a deleted album. And like keeps walking away. And keep in mind, this is like two in the afternoon in a park. Like there's other people around. So now I'm like chasing after him and I'm telling him, sir, I know you have the album. I will show you where the album is. Can you please go onto your phone so that we can delete the picture? Oh, part two. Part two, I'm sorry for the delay. Um, so I'm still chasing after him and people at the park are like starting to look at us now because I'm chasing after him and I'm telling him to stop walking. And so he stops and I tell him again to delete the photo from the deleted album and he goes, I don't have a deleted album. And I was like, yes, you do. Everybody does, it'll take 10 seconds. And he goes, fine. And he like goes on his phone, does something for a second. He goes, there, it's gone. And I was like, could I see the deleted album just to make sure it's gone? And he goes, no, you can't look at my phone. And I was like, I don't want to look at your phone. I just want to see the album just to make sure the picture is gone. That's it. And he goes, no, you're not going to look at my phone. And I was like, sir, I'm not going to stop and I'm not going to leave until you show him the album. So please just show me the album so we can be done with this. So he shows me the album. The picture was still there. So I made him delete it in front of my eyes. What if I hadn't noticed that he took a picture of my address? And what if I went home that, that day and, you know, that night when I took my dog out to pee, he was outside waiting for me. I mean... <laughs>
We need to normalize men getting their manis done. I'm about to show you a before and after, and you better be shook, because I was. Okay, so here are my brother's nails. It didn't look too bad, but all that extra skin around the cuticle, ooh, it was so satisfying taking that off. But y'all see that? That's crusty. We gotta get rid of that, and then that's it after. That looks, it looked neat. Like, it's just, you know? And look at that, it looks so neat. Oh my God, y'all need to get on this. Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.